I am Jay Orton. I make movies that make money. This is how. What exactly is a chain of title? Do not feel bad for asking. Many new and not so new filmmakers get it twisted all the time. Basically, a chain of title is not just one thing. It's a collection of documents that establish a filmmaker's or production company's right to produce and sell their film. Contracts with the actors authorizing the use of their name, likeness, etc. in connection with that movie. Releases for stock footage if you're doing a documentary film or if you're using stock footage in your narrative film. Releases for artwork that might appear in your film. Releases for props. Yes, prop releases are a thing. Location releases, copyright registration of the screenplay, copyright registration of the movie, contracts with the creative and production personnel stating that their work product has been created as a work for hire and therefore belongs to the producer, or at least the producer has the right to use it. A film is an amalgamation of many, 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 many different things, and you have to prove that you have the right to use it all in your movie. For example, even if you are the author of the screenplay, you still have to assign the rights to your production company to have a good, clean chain of title. Most film distributors won't agree to distribute a film without complete documentation. And even if you are planning to self-distribute, you still should have all these bases covered to prevent any legal problems later. Now, there are many filmmakers out there right now that don't care so much about this stuff, but especially when you start getting into larger scale productions, it's absolutely essential. And even if you're not working on a big production, you know, even if it's a super micro budget production, it's still best to cover your bases because you don't want to risk being sued because you use something in your movie that you didn't have the right permission for. And you probably shouldn't risk it anyway. It's best to start as early as possible gathering these documents. And look, no one likes to throw a release form at someone when they first meet and go all like super professional when you're just getting a project going. But if you don't, it gets much more messy down the line and difficult. Believe that. Sorry about that, believe that. I was just listening to Criss Cross Jump Jump on uh, one of my old music playlists. When you complete an outline, treatment, screenplay, etc., keep records. Register your copyrights. If you're working with someone else, have a written document that details that agreement. Many, many independent films have gotten derailed due to like friends jumping in without detailing their expectations and terms up front. And this should not be verbal put it in writing, even if it's uncomfortable. Ultimately, the chain of title is just a big folder containing copies of documents that I just laid out. And this documentation will be needed every time that movie is sold or transferred to someone else. Now, some of you may be asking, well, do I have to have an entertainment attorney to do this? Not necessarily. You really just need to be good at paperwork, or at least decent, and organization or find someone who is. That said, if you can afford an attorney, I say you get one. Let's look real quick at what some other filmmakers have to say about chain of title. Cast, crew, location, music releases. I generally go with those. Releases, yeah, yeah. But what about copyright? You need certificate of origin. Certificates of engagement with producers, director, certificate of authorship with your writers, copyright for your script and motion picture, and contracts and releases for your cast and crew. Oh yeah, certificate of origin. I should have mentioned this before. So certificate of origin is for use in certifying a motion picture's origin. This certificate contains the title of the picture, the production company, country of origin, and the years of production and release. This is basically what they use to certify a motion picture's origin, and the certificate needs to be notarized. If you're still confused, just Google certificate of origin film, and you'll find official definitions and examples of it. Hope you found this one helpful. Keep making movies.